Hello, salam inovasi pertiwiku. Pelbagai inisiatif dan projek sedang rancak dijalankan dalam usaha untuk mentransformasikan ekonomi negeri ke ekonomi digital. Dan salah satu tonggak utama dasar ekonomi digital negeri Sarawak adalah untuk mewujudkan bandar-bandar pintar. Antara komponen bandar-bandar pintar adalah pengangkutan sistem pengangkutan moden yang membolehkan perhubungan antara bandar-bandar untuk menjadi lebih efisien dan seterusnya meningkatkan ekonomi tempatan. Jadi, untuk mengetahui lebih lanjut mengenai sistem pengangkutan moden di Sarawak, jom kita ke Sarawak Metro. Hello, welcome to this episode of Innovasi Pertiwi. How are you doing, Mr. Swani? I'm fine, thank you. That's great. Before we begin, can you please share with us on the establishment of Sarawak Metro? Sarawak Metro was incorporated in February 2018, mm. which is a wholly subsidiary of Sarawak Economic Development Corporation. SEDC? Yes. Uh, the objective of this company is to undertake the Kuching Urban Transportation System which is one of the initiatives by the state government of Sarawak. And uh, it is also proposed for Sarawak Metro to become the asset owner and the operator of the Kuching Urban Transportation System rolling stock, which is include the ART and the hydrogen fuel cell buses. Now, for uh, those of us who not know, maybe you can explain what uh, is the Kuching Urban Transportation System, also known as KUTS, about. Kuching Urban Transportation System uh, will serve as the backbone system to minimize and to reduce the traffic congestions toward the Kuching City Centre. Uh, at the heart of the KUTS project, uh, there is a automated rapid transit system which is the ART and also supported by the hydrogen fuel cell feeder bus. It is one of the initiative towards the Sarawak Digital Economy Roadmap. I see. Okay, I was made to understand that these projects, uh, they'll be applying intelligent system as well as integrated database. Yes. Can you explain more about that? The ART will be not only the first in Sarawak, it will, but it will be the first system in the world that powered by hydrogen fuel cell. Mm. And also it will run on virtual tracks and on its own dedicated lane. Now, talking about Kuching Urban uh, Transportation System, KUTS, what is the expected outcomes uh, from these projects besides uh, solving the traffic congestion problems in Kuching Urban areas? Okay, for KUTS, we are looking at uh, four main factors, which is uh, mobility and connectivity for the first one. The second one will be economic opportunities. The third one is on employment and urban regeneration. And the last one will be on sustainable environment, uh, which is uh, the changes from uh, the changes towards the low carbon urban transportation which is the use of hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Would you like to elaborate a bit more? Okay, for the first factors is to reduce trans traffic congestions uh, in the greater Kuching area. And for the second factors is to create more economic activities, which is we try to link the dense residential areas to the business and commercial districts and also to the tourist hotspots and also to the essential service areas. Uh, and also for the third one, actually this project will provide um, more numerous benefits for the people of Kuching uh, through all stages of the project, uh, from the pre-construction to the construction and its operation in the future. Uh, the project uh, will able to generate uh, significant employment and also business opportunities in the pre-construction and the construction stages. Since that, this project will be the largest infrastructure uh, project in Kuching, we hope that it will create the demand for many other support services 
and it will serve to generate uh, multiplier effects in the locals and the regional economy. Indeed. Uh, how about the uh, environment sustainability? For the environment, mm. uh, we are moving towards uh, the greener technology, which is a hydrogen fuel cell, which is much better uh, than the current combustion engine. So we can ensure that we will have a more cleaner environment for Kuching uh, in tandem with the Sarawak Hydrogen Roadmap. Yeah. Mm. So do you think that uh, this uh, will be aligned with the state government uh, initiative to go into towards digital economy? Uh, yes. We also try to propose in the future mm -hmm. for during the operational stage uh, to utilize the e-wallet payment such as Rawat Pay and other platform. So it is in tandem with the Rawat Digital Economy. Alright, we will be back uh, to talk more about the automated rapid transit also known as ART and Hydrogen Fuel Cell Buses. Jadi jangan ke mana-mana, terus kekal di Inovasi Pertiwiku. Hello, kembali lagi dalam rancangan Inovasi Pertiwiku dan sekarang kita ada Miss Alice yang merupakan salah seorang project manager di KUTS iaitu Kuching Urban Transportation System. Hi Miss Alice, how are you? Hi Michelle, I'm good. Alright, uh, can you please explain to us what actually ART, Automated Rapid uh, Transit, actually is? Okay, the ART system for KUTS is a hybrid between train, bus and tram, vehicle with rubber tyre. And this ART are equipped with optical guidance sensor, intelligent navigation, and communication system. And this ART vehicle is powered by hydrogen fuel cell and run on dedicated lane. Dedicated lanes, how does it work? Uh, is it going to be elevated or uh, upgraded? It will be both elevated and upgraded. At the, the proposed element will be upgraded at the wider road section and it will be elevated at the narrow road section. Now, Miss Alice, why automated, uh, automated rapid transit ART? Why not use LRT like the ones that are already existed in our country? This ART mm -hmm. system was chosen because it is trackless and can operate on road pavement, mm -hmm. which significantly will reduce the cost of construction, construction time, and the cost of operation. I mean, maintenance cost during operation stage. The ART vehicle are powered by hydrogen fuel cell and this vehicle operate on rubber tyre and it generate less noise compared to the conventional LRT and tram. Yes. And once it is completed, the people in Greater Kuching will be the first in the world that using such a system, an urban transit system that is powered by hydrogen fuel cell run on virtual track. Virtual tracks, that's amazing. But in your opinion, Miss Alice, how do you think uh, this uh, technology and this system can relate to Sarawak Digital Economy Roadmap? The, the ART proposed to use e-wallet payment system such as Sarawak Pay, which is the most popular mode of e-payment right now in Sarawak. Okay. And we hope this Sarawak government initiative will boost the development of Sarawak Digital Economy. But more importantly, this will make public convenient to use ART in the future. Alright, Miss Alice, I'm sure penonton-penonton Inovasi Pertiwiku wants to know the confirmed routes and line for this ART system that will be made available to the public in 2025. The Samarahan line will be from Rembus to Hima Exchange and the Siran line will be from Batu Dobas to Ismas. Both lines are approximately 50 kilometers mm -hmm. in total length with 27 proposed station. And this Two lines will be interchanged at Simpang Tiga. There will be other lines in the future. But for the first phase of KTS project, we choose Kota Samarahan and Syrian line because of the heavy traffic in that area. I see. And for those who don't live near the station, are there any plans for them to encourage them to use public transport, uh, in particular the automated rapid transit ART? To encourage everyone to use public trans transport, mm. there will be 
feeder bus provided for the first and last mile connectivity. So maybe you can share a little bit about the progress of this project currently. Yes, Michelle. The feasibility studies for this QTS has been completed in 2018 mm. and this year, July, the Environmental, Social and Heritage Impact Assessment for QTS project has been started. The operation will be staged and the first stage of operation service to be commenced in 2025. 25. Alright, kita nantikan ART di tahun 2025. Miss Alice, before we end this episode, as the project manager for KUTS, Kuching Urban Transportation System, what are can you share with us what are your hopes and aspirations for this project? Yes, Michelle. I hope this project will reduce traffic congestion, reduce carbon emission in Kuching, and support Sarawak Government Smart City Initiative. And lastly, I hope that public and community will support this project. Kita sudah sampai di akhir rancangan dan di penghujung musim pertama untuk inovasi Pertiwiku. Dalam 13 episod musim ini, kita telah menyentuh pelbagai perkembangan mengenai inovasi di negeri Sarawak seperti bidang STEM, pertanian pintar, pembangunan aplikasi dan juga bandar pintar. Semoga topik-topik yang telah dikongsi sedikit sebanyak dapat membantu untuk merealisasikan agenda ekonomi digital dan membentuk masyarakat yang selari dengan revolusi industri 4.0. Sehingga kita bertemu lagi pada musim hadapan. Saya Michelle Lungan. Salam Inovasi Pertiwiku.